We're recording. We're recording. Yeah. <laughs> I want to intro this one. You're not doing an intro. Just go into <laughs> <the> <laughs> <story>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm guess. just dying. I'm just dying to hear your story, man. <laughs> I guess welcome back to the main... <laughs> I always make this mistake. Let's <laughs> 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 go into your story, man. <laughs> Me as well, I want to hear you guys. Why are you welcoming for? us? Just jazz. Uh, okay. What do you want to know about this story? Nah, I just want to know about your weekend. I know it was exciting. <laughs> Let me tell you, from the first post that you did on Friday, I just knew <laughs> that story from your weekend <laughs> would be spectacular. Man. You know, you can never see this guy chilling at a DJ booth. <laughs> Yo, when I saw this guy on his snap, <laughs> bragging about stealing a bottle of wine from French people, <laughs> I said, nah, this story is going to be lit. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to go. <laughs> Bro, so uh, basically what happened this weekend is... um. So where we work here at Motive, by the way, shout out Motive. Shout out. Shout out. There's a guy who works here. I don't know if I should say his name. Uh-uh. Mm. Uh-uh. We said his name on the last one. No, we really did. Yeah, yeah. Go, go, go back to the last one and check his yeah. name. But <laughs> said guy invited me for a party, yo. So this party was one of the most unique propositions I've had in a while, you guy. He was like basically the Alliance de France people. Because like a French organization here that comes here to do, I guess, like French aid. They were that's throwing a party. That means like French alliance. Something. Yeah, alliance. Yeah, alliance of French. Right, yeah. Something like I, I bet they do like aid. Yeah. So <laughs> 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 I haven't researched, but if I, had, I yeah, that's what that's I did. Yeah. Uh, so basically, like the French guys that work at this place at the French embassy were throwing a party on Mawanda Road. It was just like a get together, you know, meet and greet type thing. So I went through with the tra- uh, I said his name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, almost, almost, almost. I went through with this guy and. Yeah. Bro, this party was crazy, bro. Mm. Like, first of all, the music was on point, bro. Is it? I don't know which DJ they got, but this right, guy is playing. Unts, unts shit. Mm-mm. Like, okay, hey. he was it was uns, uns, but mm. it was like Afrobeat uns, like uns. uns, so, uns. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like Aya Nakamura, but uns, uns. Mm. Mm. That sounds fire. It was that so fire. fire, bro. So it was like basically like French artists. Um, okay, not French artists, but like Afro French French Afrobeat music with like a electronic dance twist. That was the vibe. And I must be, yeah, that sounds fly. Okay, right. now, first tell us where your snap comes in. How I stole the way. So basically, at a certain point in the night, you get, I was there feeling myself, and I got into this guy's fridge. He told me, go and get whatever you want from the fridge, you want a drink? So I go to the fridge, and you get, these guys had everything in there, everything you'd ever want. So I was thinking, what can I take that will hurt these guys? Because these guys <laughs> have taken a lot from us. <laughs> 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 Reparations, you Reparations <laughs> and me, I don't even drink wine, but I know due to pop media, bro, that these that, guys yeah, love their wine. Uh-huh. So I had to take the whole bottle, you guys. Like. Yeah, it looked like, like a nice white man. <laughs> <laughs> looked like a nice bro, bottle. Of white like a nice white. I've never seen that wine anywhere, bro. Yeah, I've never sucked that thing. To this day, I don't know what it's called. I have a picture of it, but I don't know what it's called. I just went from like 2000. Bro, you have a whole video. Yeah, mm. tell me you <laughs> trying to pronounce it. You guys are like an African. Yeah. <laughs> but basically, what to plunder the French, bro? Those guys came here and plundered stuff, so I had to go there and plunder something just for my, for my peace of you mind. You did well. You did well. Now, mm. my favorite thing from the snaps that you showed me, because the last snaps that didn't make it to your actual snaps. Bro, right? bear snaps, Well, the guys who... Remember, I told you this guy's been dancing like a Samurai Jack character. That guy, they was... That guy had bell bottoms. He was on his own, just dancing like those Samurai Jack robots, man, from the parties. There were bell of those guys that night, man. Like, that night... I went to so many different parts of Kampala that I've never been to. Me as me. Like, I've never turned up in Buziga. Mm. But that night I did. Mm. And it was like basically like a Nyege Nyege pop up party. Mm. So there was like a, 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 a DJ playing, like, now the Nyege Nyege uns uns. That was you it can legitimately imagine. a Nyege Nyege pop up party? It was. It was like organized by a Nyege guys. It and was. And they sent out like a blast thing that if you guys are down, if you know you know this Friday we're at this place, these DJs are performing. When did we receive come it? through? Yeah, do you see that? Mm, uh, if you know like you a, know. Yes, uh, and let me tell you from the description of like the demographic of guys who are there. It was a very mayonnaise space, bro. bro. <laughs> mayonnaise heavy. <laughs> Blind. Mayonnaise heavy uh, environment. And seasoned man. crew, bro. Damn, that's that's weird to that's me. That's wild, you gay. But that also kind of shows you like who is yeah. is Primarily and I feel bad about it like that because when other guys come to our pod right here saying come for Nyege, da da da, <laughs> and Nyege hasn't even invited us for their shit, man. Well, it's like once your national ID starts with CM, 
Yeah, national. Man, man, that's, you like, don't get nah. your game bites. That's weird, man. That's, <laughs> that's weird. wild, bro. There's such a thing. If your national list starts with CM or CF, yeah, Uganda. Yeah. That's how they know. That's that's they know. Foreigner yeah. is like passport jazz, man. Or it has like XF or something like that. Yeah, I guess if you have a national ID, you are a national. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's in their name. <laughs> My best guess is you are national. It's in their name, bro. Yeah. What about you guys? What have you guys been up to? Right. Yo, listen, man. My... So I finally finished clerkship, bro. And that is spectacular, man. I've mm. been dying. Kudos to you, man. I've been dying to finish clerkship, you guy. So Freyo, I was hyped. We had like a, they did like a nice uh, farewell party for us with hella drinks. So I kind of just stayed at the office on Friday and had drinks with everyone. You're having like long combos with guys saying bye to them and shit. They're giving you life advice. Um, and then, yeah, I went home, took my laptop home and decided to go out for a bit. Mm-hmm. I went to Shook Lounge. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Shook Lounge and uh, yeah, chat with guys for a bit. Um, man, it wasn't too crazy. I feel like sometimes when you hype shit up like that, it, you get like you get there and your energy has gone. Like all the energy that you had, it has been spent on your expectations for that night, man. So mm. yeah, man, I was back home by like 1 a.m., fairly drunk. Woke up Saturday, had like a thing with, I had um, like a function to attend. Uh, I came back tired, didn't do anything Saturday. Sunday was still tired, didn't do anything. <laughs> Man, my weekend was uh, kind of dead, but you were the highlight, honestly. <laughs> this guy, is, this guy, is like, this guy is blasted. I live vicariously through his blast, man. So I was, uh, Bro, listen, I'm not complaining. This guy's snap was so interesting because, you know, normally when we're in a place, eh, it's always Africans. Yeah. Always, because it's our buddies. Yeah. This guy pans from the DJ who was black. Yeah, I didn't know that guy. Yeah, and then pans, and I'm just seeing white hands. <laughs> no, Charming, but, bro. Yeah, but that's also, it's also kind of dope because we keep saying I'd want to be in different spaces. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Man, yeah. Do you know, I, when Hell I saw yeah. that snap, I was like, damn, sh- sh- should I come? Yeah, <laughs> this, guy, this guy did like the scout. He did like our scouting. Exactly. But he called me Bambi. He called me while yeah. I was at Shook. Why man. did you call me? He called me while I was at Shook and I contemplated. Why did you call me? Me, I was mobile that day. I, I called him when I was heading now to Boziga, bro. But this guy, yeah. he said uh, no. Boziga. Actually, uh, uh, what was the exact words you said? Ain't no chance. Ain't no way, boy. <laughs> no way in hell. Ain't no fucking I way, said boy. Was no way in hell. <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> and I, was, right. I wasn't even doing too much at Shook, but just the idea. I guess I was maybe tired, but the idea of going to Boziga. I have, I have an attachment to that neighborhood. You should have. Yeah, yeah. Mm, no. Hey, Who's Buziga? Buziga. Mm. What's the attachment? As the voice. Oh. <laughs> yeah. For the, oh, what, what you didn't say, you said he was coded there. Yeah, <laughs> he was coded that's, in where he, yeah, that's where he was perceived. But yo, man, that party was crazy, bro. Like, for me, I just honestly look out for um unique experiences. Like, I want to, like, this whole thing of going to the same place every week doing the same stuff. It doesn't really apply to me, right, appeal to me. Yeah. So I try and look out for, like, new things, but, yo, this was crazy, bro. Like, I'm so happy I went for this one. Except there was one thing that was kind of strange that I found. Mm. So, The Voice, you said you saw that there was a bunch of black people and a bunch of white people in there. But the strangest thing happened. So, like, for me, it was my first time in, a, in an environment like this. So I was actually even shocked to see black people. Like, I wanted to... I thought I was only going to go and find, like... Oh, damn. Like, that movie, You. Is it You? You where they have a party and the black oh, oh, never mind just <laughs> yeah what is it uh the the yeah, 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 yeah. the, the Daniel Kaluuya movie. Even you, it was, it the, was uh, the one before that. Uh, uh, not don't run. What's it called? That where he falls. And then yeah, into the sunken tearing. place. Yeah. Damn, what is it? How can we it's all forget you. the beginning? The name of this movie, man. Redbone, the Redbone soundtrack yeah, movie. Bro, I can't believe Daniel oh, Kaluuya, man. Jordan Peele. Yeah. We know everything except their name. First, first of all, like, <laughs> let, let me search yeah, it. Let, let, let yeah. me but okay, bro, let me basically, uh. I was in that movie at this party, bro. Uh-huh. So I told you it was my first time there. So for me, my goal was like, I want to meet every single black person in here so that they can explain to me, you as you, how did you get here? Like, yeah. what's your story? To get to Manda Road on this night. Mm-hmm. So in doing my rounds, you guys talking to so many different people, but you're the vibe I was getting yeah, from most of the black dudes. I've got the title. What's the title? Get out. Get That's out. What are they saying about don't rush? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tip <laughs> to <laughs> <challenge>. <laughs> 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 Bro, but the black guys at this party were not messing with me, bro. Yeah. They're only messing with the white people. Wallahi, like it was the strangest thing. Like yeah. I'd go up to say hi to a guy and he'd give me the most shallow superficial smile you've ever seen in your life mm. like 
toothless a toothless grin that looks mm. like and like he turns his neck and he goes like mm-hmm, yeah hey hi mm-hmm. like, like get away from me exactly now. bro yeah. And the Same white guys were not giving man. me those vibes, bro. And I was yeah, literally yeah. going out to my way to talk about colonialism with the whites. Bro. Yeah. Like, I wanted to make it awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I was going out to my way, bro. Yeah. But it was the black guys who were making it awkward, man. There's actually one white guy who was so welcoming to that jazz. Okay, I could tell I was making him super awkward, but he, he was like so willing like, to have that. Yeah, the, the conversation. Yeah, and I was wondering, man, if I brought the same energy for the blacks, bro, they'd really like just hate on me right now. Bro, my thing is, uh, first of all, I mean, I've had that experience several times. Because I've been to Ginger several times, mm-hmm. and that's my experience in Ginger. Yeah, but almost like every bar that you go to, that's the oh, vibe, man. Like it's just a bunch of black people who are not trying to associate with any other black people. Do you think it's almost because like they're always the white guys? I don't think it's always. I think it's just. I think it's just like some programming shit where they think that, like associating with the white people, kind of gives them a similar privilege to the white like people or like elevation. it has so like they're under a similar gaze to the white people you know it's some it's some mad colonial shit bro, bro that thing doesn't make sense to me because these are the guys who have the sickest dreads the guy has piercings all yeah, over his body he has co- curry shells in his hair how is he not associating with africa anyway but anyway i guess but it I mean, is I think what it, it might is. also be some fetishization shit bro because maybe the guys are trying to be as african as possible because the, black, the white people also want them to be that hey, way. Yeah, they're looking they, for the most African guys. Because they also chilling with like white people with like dreads, and like the white people also like are wearing like dashikis and shit, bro. It's mm. yeah, it's I don't know. It's very very <laughs> weird, man. It's super <laughs> weird. It's energy, like yeah. a so fulfilling kind of like sucker. Yeah, yeah like, man. It's bro, vicious. It's, it's, it's a vicious cycle, bro. Vicious cycle of just strange. I'm gonna bro. If or when we go for something like Nyege. Yeah. I mean, not same shit at Nyege, bro. Yeah, yeah. Who is, and this, that makes so much sense because it makes sense for that type of crowd to be the one that was at that party, bro. Yeah. But, but if or when we go to Nyege, do you think dress code matters? No. Because I've just thought about it because I was like, dashikis. Whites are always in dashikis. Yeah. When they go out with black people, do you think it matters? Like bro, how, the black people who are with the white people at Nyege are just always naked. I was telling Magic. <laughs> I was telling Magic earlier. Those guys just don't wear shirts. <laughs> I know those guys are in the gym right now. <laughs> yeah, they're pumping. Pumping. For Nyege, bro. <laughs> and granted, bro, they be pumped. But the guys will never wear a shirt. Come rain or sunshine. Bro, not never a shirt. The bro. guys be jacked with dreads. Yeah, I don't the get it. Well. Like, you know, whenever you go to like a place and you really see like this black guy with like this white cheek. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's in like me to be like, mm. bro, I can't. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what do you have against interracial relationships? The boys? I don't have anything against it. Yeah. So why are you going? I'm, mm. Mm. I'm just going. Mm. Oh, I, know, what I, makes you I just go, wish mm. that they could stop being like so like stereotypical. But I wish I could just find just a regular looking black dude, like an everyday exactly. looking Do black no more dude things. That's what I'm saying. With like an everyday looking white chick, you guy. It's always. The guys always look extra black. <laughs> <laughs> like, the guy is just extra, man. The guy is I have extra no, problem I, with I have no problem with the relationship. <laughs> it's just, for me, whenever I see them, they're always, like, up to something different, you guy. Like what? What are they up to? Bro, it's like they're the center of attention, and they're really trying to be. Which, I guess, man, no, that's no, how you leave. I feel like I've said this on a previous spot, but my the, the thing I hate the most is when black people are chilling with white people and they pretend like they can't dance. And the black people pretend they can't dance? Yeah. Yes, bro, so we have the moves in so our blood. What do you mean? Dude, it's so funny. I remember <laughs> this one time, actually the last nigga that I was at, these chicks were like in a river, because you can enter the river, right? They were in a river and they were kind you of like dancing. Eh? So there's a black chick and a white chick. Mm. And the white chick couldn't dance for shit. So the black chick, the black chick is kind of like, She's proper dancing at first, like she's twerking and she had like a nice body and she, she was she was twerking, she was moving according to her beat. Then she looks to her left to the white chick, and the white chick is just doing nonsense. Mm-hmm. Like white people dancing. That black chick also started dancing like her. Like you could see that black chick <laughs> struggling eh, to be <laughs> off beat, you guy. <laughs> struggling with everything and not trying to be off beat. Yeah, now you guys will notice this shit. Was she doing it to impress her or to diss her? I feel like to to make her feel comfortable. Eh? Yeah, I don't know, bro. Maybe with it's just to like dance. Maybe you know you would be wanting to dance together. Like if you were, if someone is dancing on you, you want to kind of like move in that same wavelength with, with them. So if a white person is dancing in a disorganized fashion, you also want to dance in a disorganized fashion. So you never, dancing never, never, I never. To, I'll, I'll tell out you. The I will pull out the <laughs> sickest dance. Yeah, that's you guys. I know no, the best leg work. But that's how these guys. That's how the. the I, you know, I, I guess, and I guess that's why it's kind of work to me, bro. Because you as an African, like 
what do you bring to the world stage except your sick dance moves, bro? Except your flyness, honestly, man. <laughs> it's so confusing. It's so confusing. All we have to offer is sick you dance. All we have to offer is sick dance moves, bro. your flyness to just blend in. Oh, it's my weird. God. And you're blending in with the blandest we, group bro. known to man. Okay, honestly. that sounds kind of wrong, but you know what I mean. But yeah, these guys can't dance. So, okay, they can, but not saucy. all. At least saucy, bro. At least, <laughs> they have the least sauce. Yeah. On the planet, but yeah. they have the most go up. So mm-hmm. I guess that's why you can adjust your source for go up. Okay, I feel like that that since we're talking about white people with dreadlocks, man, we should just get straight into the Grammy. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, how you feeling yeah. about this Jamaican, or that these white brothers winning best reggae album? <sighs> Listen, man. First of all, you guys, I feel like it. Maybe I should I should regulate the amount of hate that I have because when we're looking at their <laughs> videos, I personally I I didn't know of them. But looking at their videos, man, these guys have been grinding for a while, but man. Why <laughs> <laughs> we get to this Grammy, you guys? Bro, this guy, like, for me, this whole Grammy is the whole thing. Just the world is upside down right now, yeah, bro. Like, bro. <laughs> how is the best reggae album being won by two white boys, uh-huh. and then best electronic stroke dance? It's me when my African black, black, black coffee, bro. <laughs> like everything is on its head right now, but I guess it is what it is. That's crazy. But shout out to what, what are they called? Soldiers of that's Jazz so, Army. Yeah, soldier. It's so soldier. That's, that's, <laughs> that, that, that's, that's the, the name acronym. Before. Yeah, that's yeah. the acronym. Soldiers that's of Jazz Army. Of jazz. Um, but these guys are fully like yeah. rasters, man. One of them even yeah. has like dreads in yeah, his beard. Beards, yeah. and that's I mean, how he makes a raster, bro. Those guys look exactly <laughs> like you think they would look, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly blonde what dreads. a white reggae band would look blonde, like. Bro. Very blonde dreads, bro. Yeah. But they are natty. But, but they, they are doing blonde. It for a while. Yeah. That's a thing. Yeah. I mean, we have to give them their roses, bro. They've been doing this stuff for like a decade. All the songs were oh checking my. out were like 12, 12 years, years 11, 11 years. years. So why did they win now? <laughs> that's I mean, a good question. Bro, I'll tell you this, you guys. Reggae, reggae was huge with white people, man. That like Bob Marley might have been one of our first black, black like non-American artists to really break through. So it's no surprise that like white people do reggae music. I think it's just weird that because reggae, reggae is such a black spiritual it really sound, bro. Is, you guys. That's like a black guy winning, a white guy winning like an Afrobeats category, bro. Oh, good it's for me. So confusing, man. <laughs> <right? laughs> <laughs> but it's ine- I'm telling you that it's inevitable, you get because music is one of those things, man. If you do it for long enough, you're gonna get good at it, you get. Okay, true. Their sure. album's probably really, really good, man. We 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 just best. The optics are just weird, bro. It is like bro, a Leo you know thing. Everyone in their category was black. Yeah, of but course. man, listen, their album might have been better, and if not, they might have just had better backing. There's so many different things. Anyway, you guys, but I don't know. Before a, a white person can win best Afrobeat. Album, they have to first have an Afrobeat category for yeah. them to win. Facts, bro. We're still Facts. in the best world album. And I mean, big up to Black yeah. Coffee, you gay. I guess oh, I've been grinding for a while. Big up to that guy. Yeah, Black Coffee is amazing, bro. That guy might be one of the biggest African artists, man. Was there any other awards of note at the Grammys? I know Angelique Kidjo won over Wiz Kid, which I d- absolutely do not agree with. Bro, I no. feel like as East Africans, our like our opinion of Angelique Kijo might just be different from what the West Africans say. Because I, I, there's a podcast I listened to, and bro, the way they were speaking about her was like she was the one. Bro, I want to keyword being was, bro. I no, is the Angelique one. Nah, this is, this is the last the last Grammy that she won, the one where she beat Burner. Yeah. yeah, they were like they were speaking about that, and they were like, "Nah, Angelique Kijo is she deserved it." Eh? Goat. she's like, bro, it's it's almost like some. I don't know, bro. I think she's what's comfortable to the academy. That's what they're used to. Angelique Kejo so vibes. To me, man. They've seen her for 30 years singing Which Wombolo, we're Wombolo. We're we're <laughs> <laughs> singing Wombolo. Wombolo, I know. I've heard that song of hers. <laughs> <laughs> Wombolo, Wombolo. <laughs> yes, bro. Hey, they love Wombolo, Wombolo in the academy, bro. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> Let me kill you. you get, this is the thing, she. yeah? First of all, those things do not even represent the kind of music people listen to nowadays. At all, bro. I really know. don't. I don't know, Let man. me kill you. Um, do you know the guys who won Best Theatre Album? Who yeah. Are TikTokers? Mm. Wait. They, they had a... Th- uh, what, what did they have to do with theatre? An official Bridgerton mo- movie oh. soundtrack thing thing. Oh. Unofficial? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unofficial. It was made on TikTok, bro. Bro, it was called Unofficial 
Bridgerton soundtrack and it won the official award. Unofficial Bridgerton musical. Bro, how do how do, how guys, are they? do you guys vote for the Grammys? Like, is it vote, I think it's voted by the public. Is it? No, no, no. The Grammys, I think it's the same thing Let as the Oscars. Yeah. Like yeah. Like they the voted academy? it by the Academy, yeah. The Academy of so Recording no Artists or mu- something like that. There's, there's no, no public. No, no public voting. No. You you submit your That's album for brother, consideration. Kijo shit is very confusing to me, but I guess then that makes sense. Maybe they just don't fuck with this kid like that. Bro, I think I think it's like a super missed opportunity. The fact that they can be so walk and ahead of the curve to give TikTok as the best theater album. How can they miss out on One Made is. in Lagos? Yeah. He's not going to release another Made in Lagos again, bro. Nah, I, but I Angelique is going to release another album next year. I don't, think, I don't think we saw Made in Lagos coming, bro. Like, Made we didn't know it was going to be like that. Yeah. We bro. had already done his best work. Like, he has every album he pops off like that, man. So you can never know. Bro, but like, Tonight. but my promise, Angelique is going to release another thing that you won't know next year, and she's going to win the same <laughs> best global album <laughs> next Lombo year. Like, Lombo Lombo. <laughs> I just, hate, I just hate Lombo when, Lombo too. I hate when they don't give artists Grammys for their best work, and then after that they give them like a pity Grammy for mm. the next one, eh? just because they feel bad for not giving them one for the first one. Because they lost in the court of public opinion, bro. But anyway, I guess they yeah. will do that thing until they completely lose relevance and no one cares. Then they'll start giving guys continue that. doing it. Let them continue. But like yeah. again, this was another watch that I knew nothing about until I checked and Whiskey had not won. For me, it was I only black coffee that I saw. Then I was like, "Hey, the Grammys happened." Yeah, that was some, but there were some other cool categories. There was a hip hop category, the hip hop album. Who won? Tyler the Creator. Yeah, for Ego. For Call Me If You Get Lost. Call Me If You Get Lost. Yeah. Huh? I like the Family Ties win. The yeah, performance. Family Ties was dope as well. Yeah, yeah. That was a, I mean, that was a cool win. Were there any cool performances this time? I have no idea, bro. Did like you even in watch terms the of show? stage? I, yeah. I saw a few. Uh, <laughs> Billie Eilish. Uh, yeah. Okay, let me ask <laughs> again. <laughs> were, there any, were there any cool performances? <laughs> <laughs> let me ask Bobby. Restart the vote here. Billie Eilish. Yeah, no, no, no. Let me tell you about it. Bro, it's really, oh my God. He's trying to he's trying The man then said Billie Eilish. No, but there was a... Big R and B win, Jasmine Sullivan. Yeah, yeah, that was big. No, yeah, that, that was that's big. a that was a big, big deal for R and B. Yeah, she's yeah. bro, she's spectacular. She's man. fire, she's spectacular. Let's get and listen to R and B. No, he doesn't. <laughs> and he never really listened hip hop either. You yeah, know? that looks so like a rhythm and blues. Guy, he's only he's only on Wiz Kid and yeah. Made in Lagos. Oh, bro, give bro. me Made in Lagos. I have to go on the record and say that Kanye West deserved that deserved that best hip hop um album for Donda. Uh, yeah, because I agree, bro. That Donda album. <laughs> Yeah, but there's if, if there's a guy who has enough Grammys, it's Kanye West. Yeah, no, he, he actually won two that night. But you huh? know, for me, yeah. I'm one of those <laughs> guys. I'm one of those guys who just feels like if the best deserves it, just give it to the best, bro. If that was the best album, just give it to them, bro. Let's, the way that Donda sounds, eh? that shit is not normal. Bro, the way that album Donda sounds. Is fire. I, I listened to Donda I, like listen, thrice straight. I don't know, bro. But have you guys listened to Donda too? Um, How? yeah, huh? no, I have, I have, I On got me, I got the link, I got all that shit. How did you do it? I'll show you. <laughs> 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 no, when I got like the legit link, like, uh, like everything's legit, I'm listening off the website. Because mm. I heard that it was released exclusively on that stem player. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but and, then I think. But there's a stem website where you can listen to the album. Oh, for yeah. free? Yeah, yeah, for free. Oh, nice. Oh, damn. Okay. But for speaking free, of that stem player, have you guys seen that Maybe thing? I listen to, I, maybe I'm not going to listen for free, but. I guess <laughs> 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 okay, I listen <laughs> through. We might go and you send invoice on your. I'll, Card. Have you guys seen that stem player though? It's shaped like yeah, an I've egg and looks like skin colored. Uh, Have you seen it? Nah, bro. Looks that stem costs two hundred dollars, but I've it's seen it so yeah. sick, bro. Like mm. you can literally take any song, upload it onto that stem player, and split it up into like vocals, the bass, the drums, and the what's the Is last? Is it any one? song though? Because last song. I remember it was just his shit. Some some. some oh, okay, so the egg comes loaded with donda. Mm, but yeah, true. you can upload any song via the STEM website onto your STEM player. Mm, through the website. Yeah. yeah, and then you can literally take out the audio, take out the vocals, or like take out the drums, take out the, like just by swiping your finger across this egg. It's, it looks like very sci-fi, crazy, can you yeah. like technology, but you can like literally make up sick mashes up, sick mashups of your favorite songs. You know, I feel like that's very cool, but it's also mm. very like, you know, it's like one of those things that an artist does it when they get money. Because yeah. it's something that them they've always wanted. Uh-huh. Knowing me as always, like I want some TikTok <laughs> where I can do what I want to do with that. But then like the average consumer probably just doesn't want that. Yeah, My, I'm not trying to split that music up. True. My issue yeah. with it is like I think it's too expensive. Two hundred dollars. Wow. Two hundred dollars. Bro. Bro. Uh, I uh, what? Like a walkman. I forgot in Kanye was selling like eighty dollars socks at his concert. Yeah. Those okay, those listening now. events. I, guess I didn't know a dumb thing. 
the socks were selling out eh, almost immediately. And then guys were reselling them at like twice the price. <laughs> 160. And guys were buying. Bro, there's actually a conspiracy that it, like in America right now. Eh, guys will drop, say they'll drop like March. Say if you drop like MJP March. Then we'll just buy all of it. So after like five minutes of it being on the site, it will be sold out. And then we'll resell bro, at bro. like that twice the like price, bro. Pre-COVID, uh. I think it was, was it Chance the Rapper? One of those concerts. This guy airdropped a link to everyone with an iPhone at his concert. Childish Gambino. It was Childish Gambino. Yeah, yeah I remember yeah. this. <laughs> and w- was it Shoes? It was Shoes. It was Shoes. Some so dusty everyone. vans, bro. <laughs> you see those vans? <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> But I tell you, they were free, but guys resold guys those resell. shoes. Guys eh? <laughs> resell. <laughs> those well, like, I'm not keeping these ones. Yeah. That resale market is like a whole new sector in the economy, you guy. For yeah. in the West, they should bro. get taxed, bro. They should <laughs> tax those scalpers, bro. <laughs> no, they do, bro. I, I, oh, I, but they, they, they must, do. they must yeah, be taxing they them. Do, they bro, do. Guys have made millions scalping, bro. Mm. They literally have bots now on these websites. It's not even just like artist match. R- literally any new Jordan drop that drops, any new back when Off White, yeah. I don't know if Off White still drops ever oh. since Virtual died. Okay. But these guys have bots that literally just scoop up everything. everything. Yeah. Yeah. Usually the headline comes out like the drop sold out in 30 seconds. And you see that thing is uh, guys are saying that it's not it's not like some other guy's bot. It's the company's bot. Yeah. <laughs> the company just buys the shit themselves. Apparently it's like an old trick that guys used to use like in the record business back then. Where to boost the sales, say if they want their artists to go platinum in one week, they just buy, the they buy a million themselves. copies in one week. I remember, I, I think I had something like that, that they'd buy like a bunch of records and just pour them in like the lake or something. Like <laughs> all the records, they're bought like 100,000, just dump <laughs> them in the river. <laughs> That's messed up. That's <laughs> wild. That's messed up. But uh, mm. when it comes to the waste, those guys are the most, I don't know, they're very wasteful practices. Listen, that's the move. And nah. speaking of Kanye, uh-huh. let me bring this up. You know he dropped himself out of Coachella. <laughs> what happened? Coachella. <laughs> <laughs> the story is weird. Yeah. Because I also just read it. But this is the thing. Apparently, he's performing with Billie Eilish. Mm-hmm. But then during Billie Eilish's performance, some concert chat like this weekend, she, what did she do? She, as if stopped the performance to care for someone in the audience, Oh, I saw that shit. Uh huh. Yeah, but that was now. Kanye was, was like, "This is a dig at Travis Scott." Yeah, no, that uh, was with like Kylie Jenner. No, bro, that was his sister. No, that was his sister. Come again. That was in this week, bro. So that you know that it's Kim's fault. No, Kanye West is the nah, goat, nah, bro. Nah, that was in this week. <laughs> that was that was the goat like, of jumping to conclusion. That was slightly after the Travis shit. Mm. That Billie Eilish had a concert mm. and. Yeah, because of what had happened at Travis, she stopped it. Hey, said what? Take care of them. What? Get them out of the crowd. We don't do that here. She said something like that. We don't do that here. Mm-hmm. Hey, that didn't happen here. Wow, wow. Yeah, Kanye didn't like that shit. Bro. So Kanye was like, "Gay." Okay, if she's Travis performing, is I'm not with, performing. Is, is with Ka- Kylie. Who is sisters with Kim? So I'm not performing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I think yo, I think Ye just generally fucks with Travis, and I think he was really trying to hold him down after that shit happened. Mm. So from that moment on, I remember that, like. Under Billy Eilish's like comments, eh? the one mob Kanye guys just abusing her after that shit. Man, man. Bro, and wasn't that the same time when she released that video over here, bro? Over give an ugly guy a chance. I don't know. Bro. And he will overthink he's the whole world. Then everyone was like, hey, I talk Relax. about. <laughs> <laughs> that was a song she sang. No, it was it one of those like YouTube interviews. Uh, she said, give an ugly guy a chance, and he will think he owns the whole world. I know that guys came for her, bro. I don't who know how I feel who about who that. Who are, so who are they think they're talking about? Who is the ugly guy no, in question? We don't know, just like normal ugly guys. Bro, I can be pissed eh, if <laughs> Chick just is in an interview, give an ugly guy a chance and guys come to me. I can be like, <laughs> 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 that's like a double show. <laughs> man. Man. Her and your jazz. Edit. But in her, she just sounds kind of regretful for giving an ugly guy a chance. Why are you giving ugly guys a chance? <laughs> Yo, what? Like, I guess she thinks she's ugly. They really don't deserve it. Well, yeah, ugly deserve guys love. do. They Everyone deserves deserve love. Yeah, yeah, what, like, what do you mean ugly? What does ugly even mean? Yeah. I mean, she, she clearly, she clearly is, described man. this fellow uh, as uh, ugly. Yeah. I don't know what ugly means. Okay, sorry, me as mean. So I know what it means to me. My, I don't know what it means to her as well. But she said that this guy is ugly. Yeah. And I guess she gave she him a chance. And now he thinks he's... He's, you know, he's the he's the, the, what? the world, the bad guy. He thinks he's the bad guy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. See what I did. But exactly. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but if I, if I'm what ugly. What did she expect, yo, man? Listen, if I'm ugly, 
and, and I get be the eldest. Bro, you could feel like well, a man. Like, I take the world. <laughs> bro, <laughs> hey, bro. Bro, 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 what did she expect? So how, how old is she before we over jazz? Is she like, like 20? No, no, no. She's like, she's like, I'd probably say she's like our age. Like mm. 25, 24. No way. I don't know. No Billy Eilish is fact maximum check, 24. 24. First, first check before we jazz. 29. If I'm if she's too too old, if she's too 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 old, impossible. Did you say a nineteen? Not a chance in hell, bro. bro, She's a a chido. Twenty two, twenty, yeah. Just twenty. 20. Yeah, I told you she's too 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 old. That's artist age, bro. She's like thirty one. Like a cool three one. (laughs) Yeah. So guys, I wanted to give you uh, I wanted to give you a recap. She was born after two thousand. I wanted to give you a recap on (laughs) that shit that we we spoke about last week. Uh (laughs) First of all, birth control, man. Yeah, <laughs> about how that shit works. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got some, some new info. I got, I got, I got like birth control for idiots. Like, I, I got quick explanation. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys don't rely on my jazz, man. <laughs> but these are just a swift, swift explanation. So apparently, the way that birth control pills work for women mm. is that they more or less prevent ovulation. So there's there's no eggs for the sperm to fertilize. Oh, so it just stops them. Yeah, it just stops ovulation in general, bro. Damn. But do you see with it? I think that that happens too. Like, that now it's the hormones that we're talking about that, like, cause the ovulation to stop, bro. I don't know. Mm. I told you it was for idiots. Yeah, mm-hmm. It's got. clearly for idiots. Yeah, not for <laughs> medical students. Maybe we should get a doctor up <laughs> here to explain this one day. But, so apparently the male one, it does something similar. Eh? It stops the sperm. Not necessarily even stops the sperm, eh? But it reduces your testosterone eh, uh, to the extent uh, uh. Eh, <laughs> that your like your level of testosterone eh, is the same as someone who has been castrated, bro. Yes, uh, Christo. Uh, so like that's how low your testosterone level becomes, you guys. I don't know how healthy that shit is. Because even the jokes I was cracking last week about going to the gym in that shit. Bro, you can enter the gym and just start crying. <laughs> <laughs> Like you know, you can try to go and lift and, and you just fail. Feel like, <laughs> do you know? <laughs> I have and you no bring energy, bro. bro. And so now all that shit that men do that raises their testosterone level, like would they not like clash? Because we're talking about even just exercising. Eh? So that must cause like some sort of like adverse effect if I'm popping these. What's that one? What testosterone? Damn, it's so smooth. Eh? Testosterone. <laughs> testosterone. <laughs> yeah, right, so, so that pill works by lowering your testosterone, okay. not your sperm count. Yeah, bro. That's why I'm, I'm not using it. Bruh, that's crazy, bro. Because look, everything we do <sighs> is because of testosterone. Everything, literally, everything. bro. But I even going to the gym. That's your main motivator, I imagine, as a dude. Even yeah. your beard grows because of testosterone levels. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, On God, man. Like, you're gracious, the, the, you like literally, when your hair is growing in your face, like the hair root is stimulated by testosterone bro, going we are over just it. just going to be looking like aliens, you guys. You know those green guys. When what? But you no. want to have kids, at least. Listen, bro. Which but what no, you want. This is the thing. Even in animals which have been castrated, you they become still very have, docile. No, they still have like masculine qualities. They're not even necessarily docile, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they even still be trying to mount. So I guess it doesn't necessarily even affect your libido. But it re- you just like your I guess your sperm is just super you just don't you just can't. Right. Your sperm comes and it's yeah. like your sperm is just time. crawling, <laughs> bro. That is just that is just <laughs> dripping. Okay. <laughs> dripping. Hey. 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 Like I said last that time, you nasty. guys, let them first do some more tests, you guys, before before they jump on me, bro. That hey. is this guy's a jump suck it up. <laughs> Yo, heavy pause, heavy pause to that, <laughs> Big man. pause. Uh, uh-huh. <sighs> yeah, man. That's but listen, weird. I just want to give you guys a quick recap on that. Let me tell you something else that we spoke about last week I wanted to give you one. Yeah. Jails. For, what jail do trans people go to, man? Which jail? Oh, you so, found out? Yeah, I found out, you guys. Mm-hmm. So apparently in most, in most countries, but particularly in the states, most of the states prefer to just put people in the jails of their birth gender, man. Mm. But obviously, it's a big, like, it's a big issue. Mm. Because the guys in that, like, the trans people in those prisons face a lot of... Discrimination. Um, a lot of discrimination, a lot of abuse. Because if you come in legitimately looking like a woman into a male prison, you know what, you know what that comes with. Yeah, so yeah. Some of the prisons kind of separate them, but I don't think that there's many or any prisons that are putting them in are completely separate, like, or putting them with the women or putting them with the men, I guess. Is there anywhere in the world where you go based on the gender you've chosen? 
I didn't check that, bro, but I mean, on the largest scale, you guys probably not, man. That's I wild, bro. Yeah. I didn't think so. Also, man, wild. back to that Leah Thomas thing, I saw a couple of a couple of things where guys are just suggesting that trans people just have their own Olympics. Yeah. What do you guys think? Um, actually, I think that would slap. Yeah, so let me ask: Would it be <laughs> trans people, both male and f- male people transitioning to women, and women people transitioning to male or competing? So in the women same people transitioning to men would compete against alone. each other, and then male mm. people transitioning to women. Oh, I, I agree. I think that's actually kind of fair. Yeah, that's kind of. But then fair. also the point of those things is inclusion. Yeah, so that's putting them in like their own thing. It's not, not inclusive. Eh? Yeah. I mean, then why don't they bring the women into the men's thing if they're trying to be so inclusive? Right. If you think you understood what I've just said, like I'm not understood. Yeah. It's uh, no, it's a very <laughs> bro, it's a very nuanced <laughs> topic. <there. laughs> it's a very, very nuanced topic. Just cause it. Would it still be inclusion if we are giving you if we still want you to participate, but then this is what we consider fair, you participating uh-huh. against each other? Or does inclusion have to mean that because you identify as a woman, now you must compete with amongst the women. Yeah, yeah. That's you know, I, man, that thing is, bro, the Olympics and sport in general are about fairness. So I guess we'll just have to come, we'll have come to a and middle And then also somewhere. the point of Olympics is like togetherness. And he, that's why the rings are like that. No, but the yeah, guys, who, the guys who need yeah. to relax are the MMA guys. For you, yeah, those ones bad. For you, <laughs> for you are not including <laughs> you anymore because you just want to beat guys. <laughs> you just want to beat women for you. <laughs> You are not going to get included, bro. <laughs> honestly, honestly, you know, it because be big guys no one would dream of putting a trans, like someone who's transitioning from a woman to a man, in a ring with with a man, guy. with guys who are no not. one would dream of it. You guys, but then they put these women in a ring. So eh? it just <gasps> listen, nah, 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 nah. And let me tell you, uh, me as me, I'd watch. I would just guarantee that somebody. I would watch. <laughs> no, 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 no. I would not, not I would watch. Not I would watch her getting beaten by the men, but I would watch like a trans MMA fight, bro. Mm. That should be fair to me. That should be fair because it's even, bro. It's even. Listen, yeah. That's all I'll say about that, man. No, I agree with you, man. I think they yeah. should put them in their own. Okay, well, that suggestion you brought up, I think, is the one. Yeah. Bro. They should have their own category where, like, the trans people. Compete in there because yes, it brings a lot of confusion into these other sports, mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. And like the public, I don't think has fully come to terms with that thing yet so i think in the meantime it's a good transitional period uh, where they have their own league it's just like that's a the, bunch of money did you guys see the ugandan mma tournament happened this weekend there's one yeah it's it called, happened it's called one zone nah it right. it looks fa- it looks fantastic bro. like is it qualified guys or just anyone qualif bro mm. fighters it's proper proper mma man Ah, it looks too hard. It's called one zone MMA. How often oh, do they have fights? This was the f- this weekend was their first fight. Yeah. I don't know if that was a live audience, bro, but the next one I they, need they, there. They need to have a live audience. Where, where did they fight I'm from? Do you know? It. I don't even know why they fought, but it was a proper hectagon, man. It was a proper With, like, ring, chains proper and equipment, mesh. proper Damn. proper fighting styles, bro. These guys were organized, man. I w- I'll show you guys the IG after this, but man, it's lit. Maybe we should just link the IG because I fuck with them. Mm. We can use our channel for what we want. <laughs> we shall link the IG, bro. <laughs> but one zone MMA, man, those guys are fly, you guy. It looked super, super dope, man. Nah, that definitely sounds like a weekend plan, you guy. We're going to watch yeah, MMA, bro. Yeah, bro. Say, beating That's each other. Like, it seems like one of those things where you can just go with the homies. Uh, and ju- like a space just for the next. But you know how it goes. And that is just to... You know how it goes. You know how it goes. You know how it goes. Guys are going to have to bring the chicks. Chicks always... The chicks have to come. They bring the chicks. They must watch the beating, you guy. battering. Hey. Listen. Brutality. Nah, nah, nah. But the next one's, I think, on the 10th. Of this month, of April, so <laughs> that one. If they if they're selling tickets, you get I'm there. I'm also going. Same April 10th. That's, that's next way. weekend. That's this, this weekend. weekend. That's this weekend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's like get Friday, in. Actually, say nothing oh, no, more. Say, say nothing say more to me. But less. aside from that, there's a link. So the fights are always alive. Literally, when the fight starts, you just watch it. Man, it seems very, very organized. The guys who are doing it seem super intentional. Man. It seems like they've been planning it. Mm-hmm. Um, from my knowledge, the guy who organized it is also a fighter. So. Yeah. Uh, like a coach, I think for him, like a jujitsu coach or some shit. So the passion is, is there. Way to go for yeah. this thing live, bro. I'm sure there has. I'm to gonna be find out, bro. I'm going to find out, but it looks like a solid weekend plan. That definitely yeah. sounds like my type of weekend. You get, yeah. 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 One zone MMA man. Shout out you. Shout out to them. Shout out to them. Uh, speaking of updates from last week, did you guys see the consequences of our boy Will Smith slapping Chris Rock? Yeah, mm. bro. But there's actually I been did. some fallout. Uh, mob. mob. Hey. 
First of all, he okay. The first thing, the obvious one, he resigned from the Grammy, well, not the Grammys, from the Oscars. That like he, he was a member and he like resigned from basically the academy, yeah. from the Academy. But that wasn't enough. I saw Apple, Apple TV, and Netflix were both bidding for uh, a movie, a bio. Uh, what do you call them? Like bio. a a biopic about Will Smith called really? Will. Yeah, and they both pulled out of that. They don't have nothing to do with him. He was supposed to star in Bad Boys 2. I don't think they pulled out. They did like a... Bad Boys 4. They put it on, on hold as if... They pulled out the of Netflix the bid. They were bidding. It was a bid between the two. Now, I don't know if it's the one you're talking about. The one, the one I know, though, is the Netflix one was assured. Uh, yeah. And they put it on but pause. But then the director had quit. This was way before the slap. Yeah. Oh. It was on pause. But uh, when he slapped, they were like, nah. Killed dead the whole it. thing. Yeah. Bro, man. This guy's losing a lot of his sponsorships right now. And I think he's going to lose a lot more. Nah. Listen, bro, me, I just feel like it's one of those things. Yes, of course, it's consequences for all your actions. But that's still... Bro, Will it's Smith, Will Smith. Bro. Listen. It's Will there's Smith. There's nothing. There's almost nothing. There's so... There's, he has to do so much more for him to destroy his legacy, you guy. Anyway, I guess... So much more. Uh, he's not going to go broke tomorrow. That's because not about of that going broke even. He's not going to lose the world's admiration he's tomorrow. He's a big boy. Because yeah, of the that slap. Way. However, whatever deals he had in the near future, but those things are all on thin ice now. Yeah, I'll tell you guys, that, and that, that guy showed me is, that guy showed me was Tiger That's Woods, true. bro. Yeah. I remember clearly after his scandal, every single person falling back, everyone was like, mm, <laughs> let's chill this guy, man. Let's back away from him. Da, 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 da. I think the only guys who stuck with him were like Gillet. And I, mean, I think EA. Let's not go far. There's a guy who won Best Comedy Album. Louis uh, CK, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know he was accused for abuse like, or something. Yeah, mm. And he confessed to it. Nah, for and he won a Grammy. He apologized. Of, he was accused mm. of like, like I think he like, like beat his meat in front of a chick, bro. Yes, yeah, some, something like yeah, that. Yeah, something got come to. They cancelled him for a bit. Shit. Yeah. Damn. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was on purpose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, man, that guy was cancelled and he came back chap chap and won a Grammy. What do you win for? Best comedy album? Best yeah. comedy album. Yeah. Listen, I think it's just easier to make mistakes if you're white. But that said, um, yeah, Will Smith will be okay. Will Smith will Everything be has immediate consequences. Right now, guys are just trying to create some distance just in case there's a further fallout. But I don't think there'll be any further fallout. Mm. He has made his apologies. He has kind of backed off. He has kept his Oscar. This has ended as good as it can. I just hope that Will, uh, whatever he's going through, bro, whatever he's going on in his head, I hope he's able to like resolve it. Can we talk about Chris Rock, though? Yeah, yes. Rock, Chris Rock as well, bro, because... Chris Rock is winning. That can have a weak effect on you, man. But he's yeah. winning. This ticket is just like times 10 in price. Like everything mm, from 80 to 800. Uh-huh. 400 do, uh, 40, t- $40 per ticket to $400. Something like mm. that times 10. And he's cracking jokes about that slap you get. And all his shows. No, she is. I haven't yet seen him. There's one he did uh, like last weekend. When he was, I haven't forgotten a joke, you guys. I saw, no, I, I, saw a, I saw one of his brother. I saw one of his brother, yes, yeah. saying, if you try and come up here, bro, you come you here and slap my brother. His bro was pissed. His bro was not happy at all. That's what he did last though. weekend. The, the one I saw, his first show after the slap, everyone thought he was going to discuss it, but he went in and he said, um, I'm actually not going to discuss this right now. I haven't yet processed it. I had a whole show I'd written on Friday before this slap what on was Sunday. It it was just like audio from the show. There was no mm. video. Now the one I saw was a video. Yeah. Was white. And the guy was cracking jokes about it. About the slap? Yeah. Now you need to send me this link. Really? I want to see that. But, bro, listen, that's Chris Rock, man. That guy is a comedic genius. He's going to come up with some funny shit about it. And we'll laugh, bad man. Me, I also be scour you guys, because that shit can really have an effect on yeah, your yeah, mental yeah. health, man. You can be unstable for a while. You for guy. slapping a guy? For being slapped, In man. public? Oh, Chris Rock now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, she was embarrassing you guys. Chris it Rock was, for sure, bro. You know. You can definitely and apparently they like, up, like, after doing the show or something, like the police came to him and laid all the options in front of him. What oh, like pressing yeah, charges, should blah, we press blah, blah. Should, we, should we drag him out of the, the Oscar? Should we like, bro, they basically wanted to arrest Will and charge him and shit. this guy said, none of that. Don't do shit. <laughs> what so, a toto, man. Nah, he's yeah. a toto, man. He's is a toto. Real, real, I don't know. Like they could, they could never be me though. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have said arrest him. We're going to drag Will bro, out. You know they catch thieves nah, here like this. Nah, <laughs> That's nah. how Will is getting out of those no, cars, you know, bro. You know, you know. Remove your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Remove your <laughs> shirts. Bro, you know, being black, you know, being black in America is different, man. 
Yeah, being black in America is different, you guy. You know, you know when you tell the police to arrest another black man, you guy. Mm. The consequences are not the same. It's not the same as when a white person gets arrested, you guy. Anything can happen on that ride, man. And still, man, may I feel like the black guy is your guy. He is. In the he end, is. he's still yeah. going to still gonna be born. You have to right. respect by Chris. That Chris guy, must, he, must, he must meditate every day in the morning, bro. Because he did not let his emotions like yeah. take a driving seat, you guy. Anyone else in an emotional state could have just... They could have just fought on that stage, <laughs> you know. They could have just, just fought, you guy. Okay. <laughs> If it were I that was slapped <laughs> like that in front of the world in that way, bro. When yeah. this guy turns around to go and see, that's Chris Rock have a wife. An Angola, bro, like a tackle. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> kick, I'm <laughs> sweeping Lying his legs kick. off the floor. <laughs> He's getting a slap on the back of his head. <laughs> nah, yeah. Well, now, okay, that's busy. Yeah. Does that guy have a wife? Yeah, Chris Rock? Mm. He does. He has a wife. I think he's divorced. No, I think he's recently divorced. Yeah. Does he have kids? Yeah. Does his kids seem yeah, to get slapped? Kids oh. are there. Like, what do you tell your kids? Fa- oh, that's Chris you Rock. Guy. You know, at the end of the day, you guys, that's Chris Rock and that's Will Smith, you guys. Like, the basics, the basics of life are not some shit that they worry about, man. That's true. That's true. So, I don't know. Like, you have to feel sorry for them on a personal level, but like on a larger scale, they'll be okay. They'll be 100%. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw something else that's pretty funny, man. On the other day. So remember how we keep talking about Ukraine and this and this and that. Uh-huh. And now we had a conversation earlier, like one of the first pods about how black people are being treated badly. The other day I was on the internet and I saw, bro, I really hope it was true because me, I just wrote it down because it was funny. But it was saying that the US peace corps, who I guess are basically like a peacekeeping motion, um, peacekeeping mission that they send out there in during wars, they were warning the black soldiers. In fact, they said they were advising them that the Ukrainian citizens who they were going over there to help might call them niggers. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, mm-hmm. I was <laughs> like, huh? <laughs> I was like, you advising me that they might call me a nigger. I'm going to save their lives. That's why I sit down, you gay. But they're going to. <laughs> I said, uh, my friend, <laughs> you may have to eat those bones <laughs> <laughs> on your own. You might, have to, you might have to take that hit to get it. Ah, 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 bro, I was so pla- not surprised, but pla. You get first of all, the I feel like does Ukraine even have black people? You get. I mean, you saw what they're doing. The black people were there. They're all immigrants, first of all. Yeah. Okay, that, most of them yeah. are so immigrants. They're like they're students and stuff. That few. Ah, that's in most of Europe, you guys, it just seems to be like they only care about black people who are athletes, man. And even then, you guys, they still boo those guys. As <laughs> as <they laughs> you better be at the top of your game. Yeah, you better be your game. Best, you guys. Never <laughs> even if you are, bro. Even if you are, they still want to boo you. Bro, yeah. me, I don't know why any black man is getting involved in that white war, bro. Yeah. Like, I don't know what, what, what conviction he's feeling I don't think to enter that choice. thing. Bro, the Ukrainian president was at the Grammys. He just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well, my <laughs> days! The guys in the states <laughs> and all over the like, video call. Nah, the next over, day, over video. Yeah, and then the next day he was in the town which they had just bombed. This guy's a busy Maybe he did it over video. Was he there? There? I don't think he was there. Yeah, I was having over video. video, bro. Yeah, <laughs> no, he was there. That was a wild thing. What to do, bro? I'll be like, Ooh, this guy is too funny, bro. Yeah, he first leaves the hot come and attend the Grammys, then goes back. Clubs but look for at people. that, bro. The Ameri- like American government is in support of this guy being at the Grammys, but they've jumped to go and help him fight. They've bro. jumped to nah, give him bombs. We're not fighting under any circumstances, <laughs> man. But, but you can, can, you you can plead your case. <laughs> and plead your case. <laughs> you can come to the tell guys to support you, man. I told him what nah, I Nah, but the US is playing chess, you guy. Mm. So they're playing 4D chess right now. Because you know, like, how every co- every country like the EU right now has sanctioned, like, the oligarchs and everything. The US has said, nah, nah, relax. Let's first take our time. For all of them can still operate. All their businesses. Bro, nothing. You know, it's, shit, it's like when you go when you go up to a guy who's stronger than you and bigger than you. Mm. And you want to fight because you know you have like 10 guys behind you ready to scratch. <laughs> and then the 10 guys are like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> when you throw that first slap, you tell how no one's day. <laughs> and the guy puts a pounding on you. That's what happens in Ukraine, bro. They are pounding them. And hey, bro, I don't even know if they're pounding them to the extent that they're be- that like, the CNN media is you can't know, but okay, this it looks TikTok like they're pounding them. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not yeah. even TikTok, you know, it's not enough. It, like it, all these guys are on sides, man. All these guys are on sides. You so can I never know. notice. Yeah, from what yeah, I can man, hear, man, from my small, small research, the U- the Russians are pounding the Ukrainians, but the Ukrainians are taking it pause and also giving back. Okay. Like they're taking back certain like, towns. Pause that. <laughs> 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 they're, they're, they're taking back like like 
they, they the Russians take a city two days later, the Ukrainians take it back, it something like that. Like it's it's a there's a back and forth. But you know my between the two is, sides. My issue is wh- you're not taking that city back per se. Because these guys, the Russians' goal is just to destroy. Yeah, they, have, they, about they, have done their they thing. destroy, you run, you yeah. come back and just take the rubble. Bro, like, they have reduced that city. Yeah, they are. Yes, right. those yeah. cities, bro. Like, I feel, I mean, anyway, it'll be interesting, like, if, the, if Europe's perspective on war changes after Ukraine. How so? I'm interested to see because they've never felt it. They haven't felt it this close in a while. They really haven't. I think of course, they've felt, it, they've felt war several times in the past. But modern warfare, they haven't felt it. I think it definitely way. has affected Europe's mm, like view towards warfare, bro. Um, I think what this is going to definitely do in the future, you're going to see like a, a greater push for like a European army, like mm. a European Union army. Mm. You know what NATO is? It's, it's well, NATO is a bit different. It's a bit, okay. it's similar, but not yeah. the same thing. Okay. There's no European army. NATO is um, uh, an alliance of different countries that's backed by the United States. Okay, yeah, yeah so that's what NATO is. Mm. But they're going. To, I, I think they're going to have their own army soon. Yeah. Um, recently, uh, w- one of the ways that European mil- military doctrine has changed is Germany, which has forever been ever since the first world war, they had this like guilt man for what they did. Actually, the second, they had this guilt for. For for being the instigators in that war, so they have like no. Like basically, like Germany reduced the spending on their military, and they have not, like, participated in any conflicts abroad and things like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. But all that changed when Russia attacked Ukraine. They sent them guns. The, they, the Ukrainian. Yeah, they passed some new law in their mm-hmm. parliament that's going to make them like the, now the top military in the most. The top military and the best equipped and the like the most expensive military in Europe right now. Like they're getting the most funding. Yeah, I don't know how the Germans would do that, bro. Mm-hmm, Those guys bro. will make some shit. They'll make some <laughs> sick weapons, make but some German that engineering. That works. Yeah. I don't know, I don't <laughs> know about, about the well. European army. I don't know about the European army, <laughs> yeah. don't know about the Euro- European army because that one is still a long way off, you guy. Um, yeah. But all those summits they have every year are going to be weird, you gay. Mm-hmm. All She's going to be awkward. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be so awkward. They go for like G20. Yeah. Like, mm, uh, Russia high. Yeah, it's, mad. Yeah. Also, it's also kind of mad because the guys have legit just stood by and watched. Like, guys are trying, like having like campaigns and shit. That they do shit. When I'm being bombed, bro. I bet. That shit matters. They do what they can so in my opinion, is, like, bro. In the first week, eh, Russia was just bombing like. The outskirts. Yeah, the outskirts and they were caning like military strongholds. Uh-huh. And they started caning civilians, bro. Yeah, but see, for me, that's my thing. Are they? <laughs> no, okay, no, bro, I I I've man. seen, I've seen crazy videos of them caning civilian buildings. Yeah, like apartment, like blocks, apartment blocks, stuff like hospitals. I think on it. And okay, to be the fair, in the Ukrainian is army is like made up of a lot of civilians. Yeah, like they were handing yeah. handing out yeah. guns, bro. Yeah. So maybe they and were hiding wild. in some of these buildings, but they have still cluttered a civilian building. Yeah, my thing is, and. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Listen nah, we'll see how it plays out. We'll see how it plays But me, I'm watching for him from a distance. I'm watching through that Same window. Same, bro. Of us my curtain is drawn, but I keep peeping, man. So <laughs> I, I just don't want this thing to reach us here in UG, bro. Like, nah, let nah, it not nah, reach nah. us. I don't think nah, it will, bro. I hope not. Point, I hope not. Point. Because I feel like now it's a European thing. But it just keeps escalating and escalating. And you know those guys don't want to suffer alone, bro. They always bring in the world <laughs> in their <laughs> mess. <laughs> they bring the world in. Anyway, but I guess we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> ah, right. Do you have anything else you guys want to talk about? I watched Mobius yesterday. Ah, ah. <laughs> I saw you. What's your non spoiler take on this movie? It, bro. I saw you watching it. Bro, I want cap. It's different. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. <laughs> More different. I understand why it's 17. 17. That's the rotten, rotten, rotten tomatoes. Rotten tomatoes. Yes. But I also understand why it's 70% for the audience score. You mm. get out with like mixed feelings. Uh, you walk out, you're like, have I enjoyed it? No. Uh, but get, if like, you're questioning. But like, I didn't doze. What do you mean? I didn't finish I it. it. Have no. I enjoyed it? It should be a simple yes or no. no. Not okay, a okay. Okay. Let, let, let me tell you the thing. It's not a bad movie. It's just fast. I saw a guy Let me Twitter. keep it simple. I saw a guy okay. on Twitter fast. who had been... He Is said it he had good? Been, he said he had been waiting for Mobius for eight years or some shit. He tweeted this. <laughs> I've been waiting for Mobius for eight years. And then after that, he quoted that tweet after like two hours. I guess after watching the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, ah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I haven't watched it yet. Cap, I it's, ah, man, but it's been it. on my watch list for a while. Now I'm getting all these mixed reviews and I'm like, I oh still my gosh, have they fumbled again? Has Marvel fumbled again? It's not Marvel, it's Sony. Mobius is Sony. Ah, there we go. Mm. Okay, maybe that would explain <laughs> it. But <laughs> I was like, I, wo- I walked out and I was like, I don't know, man. I don't know how to feel about this movie. 
And then I'll check it out for sure. I have to give my own opinions on this thing because I've been waiting <laughs> for Mobius for some time. Easy. So have I. Yeah, this is like so what's his I, name? Bro. The guy. Um, the Mobius guy. That's the guy who was the Joker in the previous. Yeah, Jared Leto. Jared Leto. Oh. Yeah. So he's doing another superhero movie. Where he's a vampire also, this the Mobius time. is such yeah, a wait. fire Spider-Man villain. Uh, or like anti-hero, I guess. But well, then it's Spider-Man references. You see? Yeah, that's, why, that's why I don't want to spoil it. Uh, okay, <laughs> stop there. Come out. Uh, <laughs> Voice, come out. Okay, <laughs> okay, me, I won't watch. But, but you guys will tell me. Watch it for yourself. You guys will tell it's me. I'll watch it after like three months when it's out on you. Clear know, yeah. copy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 when it pops off. I don't know. Let it, me bro. tell you. Mobius is such a confusing movie. Yeah. Like you watch it and you walk out and you be like, hmm. 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 So, so what's the plan? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you guys are giving me not so much gas for nah, this. No, no, no. Go and watch uh, it. Go and watch it. Go and watch watch it. You won't, like you won't doze. You won't blink. Uh, but you, at the end of the movie, you'll be like, eh. Hey. <laughs> 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 we I won't doze. You won't blink. Nah, I, finished, I guess that's uh, a good thing. I finished Bridgerton. Uh, uh, is it fire? Yeah, I think this is nice. <laughs> 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 that car show is nice, man. Woo. This man's guilty that pleasure. Is is nice, bro. I won't hold you, guy. Ah, you know, I've never watched that episode. Some shit with that show, it. man. I know it. <sighs> well, I've never watched you, an episode. First of all, that lead, the leads in this season, the lead actresses, are both bad as hell. You guys, I have to give, like, I have to give it to them, man. There are these two like Indian chicks, and they were both. Wigs. Indian European royalty. Yeah, bro. How do they bring in all these races? Oh, bro? and you know, it's it's kind of colonial, but kind of not. It's kind okay. of like a blend of many different things. So, like some guys from the colonies come in, eh? And nah, take over. These these chicks, I guess, their mom is kind of indie. I don't know, bro. It seems like it seems like some colonial shit where like one of the princess goes and marries like uh, an Indian chick and brings mm-hmm. her back. Now she's a lady. Then her kiddos are also Indian. Mm-hmm. Then da, 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 da. Anyways, so basically. I don't answer for I'm not going to give you guys the plot or anything. Yeah. But I just want to know. Eh? Have you guys ever liked sisters before? Sisters? Yeah. Like, like two sisters. Yeah. Yeah, man. You have, eh? Okay, yeah. How did you... How? <laughs> how did that even happen? <laughs> <laughs> they look alike. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's as simple as that. <laughs> when they are something, physical attraction. What I like was that they are, they are similar in shape, and that was enough for me. Bro. You're, you're such a you're a gorilla, man. <laughs> <laughs> you're such, you're such an ape, bro. This guy is primal. As simple as how they look. Any, no. Listen, I feel you. These sisters didn't really look alike, bro. But it was, you know, I, I don't want to go too deep into Bridgerton, but I know you guys spectacular show, man. Spectacular. I wish you guys had watched. It would have been a hotter combo. The, yeah, Every one day. The second person to recommend Bridgerton to me, bro. You're like, yeah, but I don't know. Bro, I don't know. Never watched. It, it looks it's, a bit sugary it's to me. Super duper sugary, you guys. Bit too man. much sugar in that. Because like all the memes sweet. I've seen are like this guy saying like lines. You know those lines, guys. You know, vibing. The black guy. Like, <laughs> actually, you know, <laughs> like, I even know his face. You know, a really, <laughs> you know, a really good way to put this. Eh? The main characters are dude. Eh? Mm. He initially wants this one sister, and she's the opposite of him. Super lady like super. Is this like from season one or season two? Uh, season two. Oh, ah, okay, okay, okay. That, that guy the was, in the guy one was in season one though. He was in season one as well. He was the main, uh, the main female lead's husband, um, brother. Is it the guy who they say is like Simanya? He wants to not be married. Yeah, he yeah, kind of didn't yeah. want to get... No, nah, and this is when he really wants to get married, bro. But just to get married, just get it over with. Mm. And get guys off his back. Yeah, like out of his... He did like his duty or some shit. Yeah. Anyways, so he first wants to marry this one chick who is... She's bad, but she's like very like ladylike. She's... Bro, she's like the perfect wife, man. Mm-hmm. And then she has a sis who's a bit rugged. Not in terms of like how she looks. She's bad. But she's like... A, she's... Basically, she's exactly like him, man. So I don't know what you guys think. Do you guys go for chicks who are similar to you? Or for chicks who are completely different from Bro, you? I won't cap. Because I feel like that's what they were, that was like my opposites, you gay. You opposite, opposite from you? Opposite. My opposites. Is it? I, I yeah. think I'm more in the middle. I go for either chicks that are very, 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 very similar to me. Or completely, completely, completely opposite from me. I don't know. There's no in between there. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like if we're all similar. Man, for me... Oh. I kind of like it sometimes when we're similar, bro. Like, uh, I feel like it's too much for me, you guy. When you're similar. similar. Yeah, yeah, because... I then thought you were a nice guy. Uh, yeah, okay, nice fine. Software. So, so you're like, what do you I'm like? Nice guy, you don't nice like guy. nice chicks? No, I like all of them. Ah. <laughs> hey, 
been nabbed. Okay, like the most ras- <laughs> rascalian. <laughs> <laughs> the most rushing oh, man. of them all. Let me tell you guys, yeah. but it's not funny. You uh-huh. see all these KBs? Uh-huh. Over the gets weekend. back to your friends, man. Yeah, that, exactly. that one attacked me and I say, I know who that boy is. Exactly. <laughs> I was there somewhere and then some, some guy just came and he's like, voice with the people. You know when you don't turn, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> Nah, not me. <laughs> and they t- then he told me, voice with the people. I was like, damn. Damn. He turned... Yeah, like who's that? <laughs> <He's a laughs> <shit. laughs> For now, at least. <laughs> nah, bro. Me, I think I like. I think I like girls who are more similar to me. I even realize that when I'm talking to girls, when you're in that kind of talking stage, I'm mostly looking for similarities, man. That's what that attracts me to women. So, like, I like chicks who kind of like the shit that I like. Now, this is the thing. This is the thing about me. It's not even like I'm looking for them. Mm. It just ends up happening. Does that make sense? And, and like, like we'll be like talking. Opposite girls? Yeah, we'll be talking because I, I'm, I'm, I'm more drawn to like people's characters. And in the end, I realize we're like opposites and it works for me. I'm like a magnet. Yeah, but let me tell you, that shit happens very, very subconsciously, man. Sometimes you're just... Like, those are women that you're moving to, man. Chicks who are completely different from you guys. You just don't even notice it. Okay, let me tell you this off mic. Hey, so all the girls you've been with are lawyers. Nice, Andrea. So as you were saying, blip it, blip it, blip it. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. No, I'm not in the room here. That's crazy. Yeah, but I, but I don't know. Listen, I don't know. No, for me, like, I know that's about. I like. I think generally, like, I like girls who are very similar to me, personality wise. Mm-hmm. I think we'll get along well, and there'll be less explanation in terms of like me explaining myself. But however, what I mean, like, I like girls opposite. For me, there are certain qualities that I do not have in myself. That you want in a partner. Yes, so that they can kind of check my my my, my other qualities that, I, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that are not mm-hmm. so good. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I, that's how I look at it. Like, a, a, a chick who's like either completely opposite from me or completely similar from me. Mm-hmm. Or they're completely similar to me. Like, mm-hmm. there's no in between in the middle there i don't know if that makes sense okay. me i feel like you're just giving yourself more homework you get yeah. more homework to do it yeah. now i'm just trying to like elaborate like what yeah. i've come across in the yeah. world yeah. me as me my travels on this earth no i think anyway, you can't be on all fours with yeah you know, with, with with a woman and again you woman can't be a, exactly entirely different or entirely yeah. similar yeah there will always be yeah. a commit but i don't think you can get along if there's nothing mm-hmm. in common you know because i mean the thing is this said is listen you can't yeah you just say that like oh, I, <laughs> I think i get along yeah anyway. for a bit listen to be did and anyway, the point is and this is a spoiler alert for bridgerton end of season two he picks the one who is more similar to bro mm-hmm. more similar to him yeah yeah to be fair, she was, she was badder. She was badder. I can't mm. dig it. She was badder. That's the beginning. And if he's also a bad man. He was a bad man. Yeah, it seems like a, a bad man. Bro. From the memes I've seen, it seems like a bad man. Can't end up with a bad man. He was, and good he, bro, he was super duper rich, you guy. That's why it always begins. <laughs> that's the starting point. Cool. Isn't he called Bridgerton? Yeah. Bridgerton. Oh, that's <laughs> his name. This is a guy. Yeah, he's he the titular, bro. titular I don't character. Know, bro, I also yeah. just guess. But Bridgerton sounds rich. Lord Bridgerton. Lord Bridgerton. Is that how they call him? He was a Viscount. Viscount Bridgerton. What does that mean? I have no idea, bro. Viscount, I guess just it was like a title. Like a duke. Eh? Yeah, yeah like, Vi- like Viscount was like right below duke or some shit. Guys, I don't like titles anyway, so. Speaking of, nah, I don't know how to segue this in, but you guys hear that Elon Musk bought 9%? But <laughs> 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 9% of yeah, Twitter. Yeah, to Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're going to edit that show together. When he's going to have a tough time editing <laughs> that show together. <laughs> when he's going to yeah, be like speaking that's what English. That's <laughs> Okay. Uh-huh. Did you see that though? Did you hear that? What did you do? Elon Musk bought nine nine point two percent of Twitter like yesterday or the day before yesterday. Nice, Are you nice. serious? You know, I saw a meme that I didn't even understand. Why would he do that though? Hmm. Yeah, Elon what guy, is he Elon planning? Vision twenty forty, bro. You can't know, bro. Okay, I, it kind of makes sense to me because this man literally shifts like financial markets with his tweets. Oh yeah, yeah. that's why I saw Twitter's stocks went up. Bro, <laughs> I saw, I that I was of course I give it. I saw a meme of like a. Uh, like it was cartoons, but that cartoon is kind of holding like something, and the thing has free speech written on it, and the guy is smiling, and then behind him, Twitter is holding him, and like he looks back with like, like a sweat because Twitter wants to oh, regulate. Like him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then <laughs> after that, the next one is 
Twitter and Twitter has also looked back like a sort of Elon Musk. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's one of those things, man. He I, just he I wants think, free speech like deregulated, man. The guys I, just say what they want. I honestly think that that's what he's trying that's to do. I think, though. I think he's trying to just deregulate his microphone. Like he, his his microphone is a bit clogged, Twitter. So he's trying to buy it. He's now the largest share, shareholder, so he can influence it. Bro, because literally like before he Bruce bought Wayne. it. Largest, Before, largest what individual shareholder? Yeah, individual yeah, shareholder. Yeah. Wait, Twitter. What, but what about Jack Dorsey? Does he not own Jack Dorsey? Is no longer in Twitter. Hey, is it now yeah. Square that owns? He's now, yeah, he's now Square. It's now Square. He's the largest, yeah. he's the largest okay. single shareholder in Twitter. And okay. just before he bought it, he, he, he put a poll on Twitter where he was asking people, "Do you think Twitter is like basically? Do you think Twitter has free speech? Yes or no?" And he was like, "Answer carefully." And like seventy percent of people are like, "No." Yeah. So he might really be trying to shake things up there, but I guess we'll see. This could also just be like an investment for him, so he can like the stocks can go up. Then I, don't think, I, don't, I don't think it is. No, I spoke to a friend. I don't today. think it is. I actually spoke to a friend. Today. Something deeper. Yeah. I spoke to a friend earlier today, and she was telling me she got off Instagram, and now she's on Twitter. She thinks Instagram is going to close. Just because she, she left. said to me, I think Instagram is closing down, so I'm on Twitter instead. She thinks she thinks it's going to close because she left. No, hey. she's, she's <laughs> left, <laughs> she left because she thinks it's going to close. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's too plan, brother. Why? Why? Why, though? Who's, who's, your who's your friend, bro? <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Why, though? Because Instagram, think Instagram, Instagram is Instagram is not going to close, bro. Instagram is not going Instagram anywhere, bro. They just updated some shit, bro. They have been like TikTok now. Experience, no place, bro. Let me ask you guys. TikTok now has stories. What have you been doing before, bro? What's nah, a, first what, videos, what a like those 24 hour stories you guys can on snap why bro that's exactly what the tiktok is man for who <laughs> we don't know bro but they're now stories and anyway, no, i guess they have to, try, they have to stop, expand man. somehow these guys won't stop until we just care about nothing else hey, other than TikTok. Until we have zero percent attention <laughs> span bro. <laughs> bro those guys are wrecking the attention span of their youth Yo, bro. what does Mine that look like I'm, I'm literally i just figured out how to use tiktok the other day i spent like 20 minutes, like 30 minutes trying to figure out how to go to the TikTok DMs. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I had almost failed. Because you go to the DMs, uh, and then hold you see, like, to ask why were you trying to go to don't TikTok. Don't worry about DMs, it. <laughs> don't worry about the details. <laughs> Just know it was hard as hell to get to the DMs, you guy. Damn, how do you get to the DMs? No, t- they need to streamline their, oh, yeah, their yeah. UI. It's actually hard. It's I'm hard. Because you go to, like, <laughs> notifications... And then, then you click, yeah. then even, ah, man. Yeah, yeah it makes sense. But yeah. I guess it's not for DME. And, uh, I realize that these app developers, it is, on purpose oh, make their apps convoluted, bro. They do that on purpose, man. So that you stay on the app long. Yeah. I, like, have you ever wondered why it's so hard to find someone on Snapchat by, sna- by such? Yeah. Like a story you just watched. What's the reason? I, I guess they want you to go and look through it by scrolling through all the, the unwatched stories mm. and getting you can, to the end. You can search, though. Mm. You oh, can. If you know the name. Like there's <laughs> snap. But the yeah, times yeah, even if you know their name, bro, you won't find this person. Why Snapchat do you guys has think that Snapchat, thing. like our Snapchat doesn't have ads? Um, because you're in Africa. Yeah, but why? Because not like African advertisers don't have the money for Snapchat. They're on YouTube every day advertising. Yeah, but is Snapchat really the most popular app in Africa? That's true. But They're when you have like no choice, it. let me tell you, Snapchat is fairly popular. When you have no choice, Mm. But to look at that ad, because that's the way it was when we were using the VPN. Bro, there were too many yeah, ads. Too, there many too many ads, ads bro. After after every every snap. Thing, bro. And if you actually check, Nike, if you're ever using chocolate. like a yeah. VPN for anything, you'll notice that like the people are outside are always complaining I, I, I about ads. I'm dying with ads, bro. Yeah. Actually, I don't want that to change. Snap, don't don't advertise here too fast. <laughs> don't come to Africa. I'm either. enjoying <laughs> now. Let, let the US market bear the burden. Let me tell you, it's please. It's very mixed because the more ads, the more money. Yeah. For Snap. Even here, bro. even you, even on YouTube, even if, you, if we bro. were somewhere else, the ad revenue would be way higher. But Snap doesn't pay, it's it's Don't it's, they? it's they it's, do. Uh, I know they're, it, they're it trying to have a on program, how big your, yeah, 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 they're yeah. trying to start a program, but the program was very dependent on your numbers, so like that's that's everyone, yeah, as it should be. That's mm-hmm. everyone, no, not really. Uh, YouTube. Okay, yes, I guess now they have like yeah. that monetization system. You might have to have like a thousand followers. Yeah, like first. everything has it. Even TikTok. Numbers, yeah. 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 But like Snap yeah. isn't known for like its monetization no, platform. Snap has, yeah. Have you ever gone to your thing and then you create that uh, personality thing thing in mm-hmm. Snap? Like subscribe? Where, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. Well, I guess, yeah, yeah. Where you create like a personality. So when someone clicks on your profile, it's either you or like your personality type thing. Mm. Like the so there. Horoscopes? No. Like that and that you have you it. This guy has done it. I don't know why he didn't know what he's talking about. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like them, like them, what do they call them? Memojis? No, Bitmoji. it's Bitmoji. it's like Bitmoji. a personality page, like where you post your stories and they stay there forever. It's mm. not like Snap. Yeah. Mm. 
So in that jazz, mm. that's where like Europeans are really get trying to cut each other out, man. Of, <laughs> yeah, they're really trying to cut each other out. Yes, they're competing yeah. with themselves. And also that thing called like, like the Snapchat stories, yeah. like that Snapchat TikTok thing thing. You know it? Spotlight. Spot. Yeah, that's it. Spotlight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're also making money from there. The other creators. You know, when the Spotlight feature just come, Snapchat was giving anyone who racked up numbers money. On Spotlight. They were giving out one million a day. US dollars. dollars. Yeah, yeah. To individuals or like anyone who racks up views, like crazy views on Spotlight. So they just choose a guy on random, give you like 500k. Mm. Yeah. On random. On random. <gasps> but nah, I wish I, I wish I knew back then. And you'd see me on spotlight, you guy. Years ago, you just be posting everything. Every <laughs> day, you guy on spotlight. <laughs> just what is just uh, doing today on spotlight? <laughs> so how does TikTok money work? Is there TikTok, TikTok money? So TikTok there are these money. things. If you've ever gone live on TikTok, or if you've ever seen like a TikTok live, there are those things people send like roses, emojis, what, what, what. So you buy them, then you send them to like someone. And that someone receives like the rose and they receive the money. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. TikTok. Because I keep seeing guys. But it also was a creator fund. I keep seeing guys on live. I'm like, yo, where the fuck are you on live? Who are you? On TikTok live. And they be doing nothing, man. But they're getting those roses, bro. They're getting bread. eh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's kind of how like Twitch works. Yes, kind of like how Twitch yeah, works. Twitch is crazy. You guys. I don't know when I'm going to start podding on Twitch, but that is the key. Nah. Guys, pay to subscribe. Ah, yes, please. please. Twitch, if we ever start Twitch, mm. Twitch is the key. Mm-hmm. Yes, that, please. Yeah, you have to live <laughs> pod. <laughs> oh, 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 my contracts. Bye. Uh, <laughs> hey. You're off everything, bro. Twitch is... Ah. Twitch, Twitch I just say the thing, the thing with Twitch is they're going, to, they're going to tell you, like if you're big enough, they're going to tell you now you're a Twitch partner. Yeah. This YouTube jazz release it. <laughs> or YouTube will tell you that. Know. Maybe that is. What, what are the perks of being a Twitch partner? Bread. Money, bro. Oh, I guess. I guess. Bread. I uh, guess that's all it means. They actually you. pay guys. Now, those Twitch partners get paid to do lives. Mm. You're getting so paid you, by Twitch yeah. and you like people are also paying you. I th- the last thing I saw was like the highest guy is getting what? Like a few million, like a, some, a some video. Some gamers. They're, they're a few million in live, bro. Yeah. The guys are making crazy My money. Twist, bro. Guys is to play video game. Guys. Logic. A lot, oh, of even pods, a lot of gamers. Even like, okay, there, I guess. Yeah, they're there. Podcasts. A lot of podcasts, yeah. a lot of gamers, a lot of rappers. Bra- the this. amount of money guys are making off this. I guess they know where the actual bread is. Where? Only fans. Only fans. Listen, you've been dragging us back. <laughs> you, every episode. <laughs> this is the, the this f- damn software <laughs> takes <laughs> us <laughs> It's AI, man. It's putting us in our face every episode. Only man. fans, um, bro. We take our podcast to only fans. Hell yeah. We charge guys yeah. before they enter. I uh, know. We tell them YouTube, that's. Mob jazz. <laughs> <laughs> more jazz. More jazz. Most slogan? jazz. Yeah? What was our slogan? <coughs> for the mo- for only fun. Your voice are people's slogan will be make your software hardware. Ah, ah, yeah. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> look at me, look at, look at me Take dead. Pose. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Every pause. Every pause at that. Uh, that's too funny. We'll turn your software <laughs> as <laughs> hardware. You know, as a funniest thing. <laughs> it's, it's such a messed up joke, bro. But then like, it was a Star Wars joke. I think it was from Family Guy. Yeah, I see that episode where they did like a Star Wars themed episode. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So do you remember when Obi Wan was fighting? What's his name? Uh, uh, and like uh, a, and yeah. like on the high ground. The lightsaber went down. The guy came. The guy came. Okay, said, Ah, what guy? Go to us. Family Guy. They need to. They need to look up this game. Family Guy needs to be cancelled. They need to cancel that show again, bro. It has been cancelled so many times, but it keeps being revived. I wonder how. <laughs> yeah, but it's never like proper proper cancelled of get off the air Bro, there are people who I don't know if they can actually be cancelled like even if they do the wildest things for example the guys of Grand Tour yeah those guys say the most racist things no, they're, they're, they're <laughs> too funny I think it's, impo- it's also important when guys just know it's a joke man yeah mm-hmm. They have context no. and history. Yeah, with the guy cracking the joke. There's context. You know how that guy is not particularly hateful, but man, in the internet era, man, shit gets really, really like lost in translation. Man. And the mm. guys can really pull that clip out of context. They just get the words you said, man. They like like the, the part of your joke that was offensive. They'll just cut out that offensive part. That's what will go viral. I'm not gonna hold you though. Guys say some really offensive. Like in the past, guys have said some very offensive shit, but at that time. It wasn't it as wasn't offensive, offensive as it yeah. is now. 
Mm-hmm. Like I recently saw this JT check actually today. JT, JT from the City that's Girls. wild. This is that shit you were saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wild, wild. shit. Bro. I mean, <laughs> can't repeat it on this. You post. can't say you can't say it on this thing. It was just, <laughs> but I just know she was saying some wild things. Right. But she was saying them in twenty like seventeen. Or it was something. 2017. Yeah. I'm thinking she was maybe like seventeen herself. Uh, that makes it even wilder. She's probably like seventeen herself, but like. Uh, nah, you can't say it. No, let me, <laughs> you, let me tell you something. Back then, guys said shit like that. Yeah. That society was much less sensitive and I'll, I'll agree much less woke. Yeah. So I can't, bro, I just can't judge her at that same standard. I can't judge her using today's standards. Yeah. And she also didn't say, I wish I could say what she said, bro. Nah, well, if you just say it, was, it, was, just it was, just <laughs> was an R. Kelly joke. Because yeah, yeah. at least I want magic to And there were like five. Yeah. yeah. There were like five, there were like five yeah. R. Kelly tweets. In defense? Not in defense, bro. Mm-hmm. In like desire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shared for more. Hey, bro. Hey. <laughs> so to speak. Oh my days. So listen. There's something to be said about that, bro. Like she wasn't wishing it upon anyone else. Yeah. I can't say she was in support of it. She was definitely very insensitive about it though. And I <laughs> at that time he hadn't been like a judge he had been guilt. acquitted, I think. Yeah, he hadn't been a judge guilty at that time. Yeah. He was still just like a okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was he? I don't. I can't remember. Maybe he no, was. 2017. He was because that's a long time. I can't ago, remember. Yeah. It's a while back, man. 2017. You know how many years was that? Like, that's like four five, years five, ago. Five, six years. So, bro, oh. listen. Mm. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> 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 five, six years ago, but bro, listen, she said some wild things. And guys have come back for her, bro. Mm. Hey, 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 guys came back for her heavy. Bro, but do you know every day I think, I'm not eh, I'm like, yeah. it goes back to my tweet of like 2014. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. I can't imagine, bro. Because <laughs> yeah. I just come on Twitter like we once every six months, so I can't imagine what I used to say when I would come <laughs> on. <laughs> like I would say the wildest, <laughs> most nonsensical <laughs> things and then go off. Yeah. Yeah. Go through your Twitter. How do you guys, do you guys know how to check? What you said back in the day. Yeah, how to I, like I think you just have to scroll. Bro, that's scrolling forever. You think guys just scroll through you your Guys Twitter? just scroll. That's a lot of There's time. no way. Bro, guys just there scroll. There must be like some sort of software. Yeah, like some control. And just so what, you go, you go yeah, in the yeah, software and you type Melvin control, offensive to Control <laughs> if I just say all uh, offensive <laughs> words. Offensive. She said that F word. Yes. She said that F word. Okay, you can. I know you can definitely search on the page like for particular words. Can you? I think, guys, yeah, there's there's a way you can do it. Then oh yeah, 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 you can actually do you that. Can search then how do they know? Words. You guys are saying that word. No, but they I just think search all the offensive words, eh. and then it will take them to a period where you said that. Then that's easier now to scroll and find all that nonsense. Me, uh, the way I think they do this thing. I think one guy just takes off one evening. <laughs> he says this evening I'm giving it to research. <laughs> yeah. He does research on yeah. your Twitter, goes through all your tweets and screenshots all the crazy stuff and unleashes all that stuff in the morning nah, for everyone else to see. Bro, but then also you need to know that I feel like there are also guys keeping drafts. Because you know the way Twitter looks nowadays is not the way it used to look then. And yeah. then some screenshots just look old, bro. Yeah, they look very old. Yeah. So I think there's a guy who is screenshotting everything on screen- Twitter <laughs> for him. Like that's w- what does bro, that even mean? Wild. Was JT even in 2017, man? JT okay, was probably in high school. In 2017. And meanwhile, guys are so stupid. You might think that this shit comes because someone is just trying to be a social justice warrior. It's like, can come off like she broke up with Lil Uzi. Oh, yeah, she, she abused him. Did. Guys say, you've abused Lil Uzi. Let's go <laughs> find your shit. <laughs> <laughs> you see, guy. <laughs> okay, yeah, speaking of, did you see how gays dug up every single piece of media that Chris Rock and, and Will, Will Smith, Smith had, had ever, ever been in? together bro or bro anything anything even slightly related yeah to this like guys everything has come out bro you guys will do that I, okay so for example there's a video of will smith making fun of someone's bald head that was released of him in the yeah. 90s on, on a i think it was a senior hall that's yeah. senior whole show there's a video of him uh, like teaching kids not to get violent back in the 90s again like if the situation ever gets out of hand don't get violent use your words that was will smith teaching the kids then on Chris Rock said there's a video. I don't even know how this one was tied in, but it was Chris Rock versus Super Hot Fire. Have you seen that video? Yeah, I've seen that video. That's one. That, that thing was lit. That's Super Hot Fire guy's video. He made a new video. Yeah, I was yeah, doing video. Yeah, he made a new video. <laughs> that <is> nonsense. But, uh, <laughs> nonsense, bro. But I hadn't seen that Chris Rock video, but that Chris Rock video was golden, bro. Bro, let me tell you, my shit to me is like, how is designer still out here, you guys? Like, what's that guy doing? Who is he? Wait, designer still out here? Designer was in that blue face video. You didn't notice. Oh. No. He was right behind <laughs> blue face, but he kept saying that grass shit of his. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you, know, you need to watch the whole thing. It's like 10 minutes note. long. That Super Hot Fire versus Blue Face Beach. It's like 10 yeah. minutes long. You should watch the whole thing. Actually, didn't see him. Designer was right there, bro. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> and then he made one. You know, in America, you just need to make one banger. You'll be okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, not too extravagant. That bread will continue to come in, man. Designer, That's man. Banda, banda. Let's have another song. Yeah, of course. Yes, Timmy Turner, yeah, but he didn't. Like didn't yeah, Timmy Turner. Timmy Tim Turner blew. I liked it. I liked, I liked it. Banda, it was fire. It was but fire. it blew. You don't see how many listens that thing. It has. was the snippet that blew. When you go to that guy's Spotify, he has like. One billion on the first one, and then like seven hundred on Timmy Turner. Let me first and then like, I know Timmy Turner like the, the the what's it called? The snippet that he released went viral. Of him like singing it while like snapping like Timmy, this. Timmy, Timmy, yeah. Timmy, 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 Timmy Turner. But it was fire. Be wishing for a while. Fire. It was fire, <laughs> but it was a fire snippet. When the song came out, it was like it was like. Uh, but now speaking of designer, yeah, do you see that guy? One billion, Timmy Turner, three hundred mil. Not bad. Not bad, bro. Not actually, not it's bad. very not impressive. Bad. He yeah. actually has another uh, another one with like 250. 250. The champions yeah. with all of them was like Kanye, mm. Big Sean from that other album. This one, they stole designer shoes, you guys. Do you remember <laughs> that? <laughs> in in uh, Nairobi, they showed him work one. <laughs> hey, my sneakers! My yeah, sneakers, guy! My sneakers! <laughs> <laughs> my sneakers! <laughs> yeah, Nairobi is too little, guys. We have to touch. <laughs> we have to touch, man. Bro, Nairobi is a plan. That voice. Mm-hmm. Apparently, you'll be in, you'll be in Nairobi. You'll be in that Nairobi airwaves in a in in a few weeks. In in a few weeks, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, for a bit. Yeah, yeah send a, bit. send them my regards. How are you feeling? Good. That's how, that's why I don't go. First relax. Yeah. <laughs> is it? Is yeah. that you won't go? Well, nah, man. You know the world is funny, you gay. On God. Yeah, <laughs> on God. Let's, let's, let's first go. Place. Then I'll come back with KBs. Okay, I can't do it. Do you guys have anything else you want to talk about? Nah, bro, I think nah, that's bro. it for me, you guy. What's out to this one? Yeah, all I want to say is, though, I'm back outside, you guy. Yeah. I'm In full force. Out, today? I'm out here. Nah, not like that. Hey, that's <laughs> not that's not I'm, ba- suit, bro. Bro. I'm hey, back out here. In, I think I'm going to take the month layer. of April off. Mm. Just to like, just man, to just to come back into my own man. I feel like I've been rested in a year and a half, you guys. Yeah, you talk about resting? No, I mean like rejuvenating, yeah. rejuvenating my mind, and spirit, soul. body, because soul. Because bro, it's it's been too <laughs> long, man, and I'm feeling myself, you guys. I'm feeling good. Hell yeah, bro. This We're feeling be, that casual. This month's gonna be crazy, after man. the pod. I have to exercise, so I can't, I'm not going to do that. Now nah, relax. Nah, 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 nah. It's Tuesday. <laughs> Your security guard talks to I have to exercise, well. I have to do a research paper. I have a 25 research paper to hand in. <laughs> but listen, man, I'm feeling good, you guys. I think I'm going to go on like 30,000 beats this month, you guys. Yes, yeah, see. That's, that's I'm nice. outside. You have to make up for lost time. I'm outside. But also, I might just be hyping. So we'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. As weekend, if tune in to find out, <laughs> we'll find out. If he was <laughs> telling the truth. I lie a lot. Tune in. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay but, uh, so... Um, Mm-hmm. That was already. Ah, uh, I keep making this mistake, yeah, bro. Every, okay, what is the last one? What is the last one? Yeah, that was the last one. No, but did we put it in the actual last one? Was it there? No, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright, guys, that, that was the podcast. Um, yeah. thank you for making it till this point. If you made it till this point, leave what in the comments. Leave um, what should they leave in the comments? Voice. Where's the reason? Okay, Melvo. The voice. What should they reason. leave? I should leave like. Soldier or something. Soldier. <laughs> <laughs> Leave soldier. Leave soldier, man. <laughs> soldier over my jazz army. Yeah. <laughs> if you <laughs> if you <laughs> if you made it to this point. Yeah. Bro, what's that uh, last one back again? Why the why, why were they? Yeah, like, guys. Like, <laughs> Naga has dying and are saying, um, if if Chris Rock had a bouncer and Will had a bouncer, they would just let their <laughs> bouncer <laughs> fight like back again. <laughs> back again. <laughs> uh, See you win. Uh-huh. Uh guys, uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace.